Just like with Terrain Blocks, you can export assets from VoxEdit to your Marketplace account. Before clicking the Request Approval button to add your items to the blockchain minting queue, they are already saved to your account and will download automatically to the GameMaker the next time it is launched. It is always best to test your assets in the GameMaker before publishing them to the Marketplace. You can use any assets someone has published on the Marketplace by clicking the plus button. This will add it to your account for testing in the GameMaker. But in order to publish an experience to the Metaverse, you will need to own every asset used in the game. Open up the game editor library by pressing L and click on the model filter to display only assets. Scroll to the bottom of the filters and click on plants. We can see all sorts of trees and grasses are shown in the library. Clicking on assets will show us their default information in the property panel on the right side of the screen. Trees are usually just simple decorations and have no default behavior. Smaller objects like grass can be eaten by herbivores and will have the plant behavior enabled. This will cause them to attract hungry animals as the first part of an ecosystem's food chain. Attributes set by gems in the dashboard will also display here, showing which assets will be more powerful in certain ways. Activate the object you want to place in your game and press the L key to close the library. Left-clicking on the ground with the brush tool active will place the asset upright. Clicking on the sides or bottom of a block will rotate the asset to match that side. Right-clicking on any object will remove it. Clicking the Move tool on the left side will let you reposition assets. Left-click on the object you'd like to move to highlight it, and the Move gizmo will appear. Left-click and drag on any arrow to slide it in that axis, or hover in the area between arrows and click on the plane that appears to move them in two dimensions at once. Left-click on an empty area to deselect the object. Left-click drag to make a rectangular selection for multiple objects, or shift-click to add individual items one at a time to the selection. The rotate tool will turn the object on the highlighted axis, or you can turn it using the surface of the gimbal. By holding shift while rotating objects, you can snap them to 45 degree rotations. You can also hold shift while moving objects, which will line them up to a half meter grid. The Rotate and Select tools can create selections the same way as the Move tool. The Selection tool does not display a control gizmo, which can make it easier to select multiple objects that are close together. Object positions can be tightly controlled in the Properties panel. Positions are written in meters and define where the origin of the object is placed. Rotation is measured in degrees, and typing zero in each box is a quick way to reset the rotation. Show us the creative ways you're using assets from the Marketplace by taking screenshots or recordings and sharing them to our Discord channel linked in the dashboard.